Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, I want to talk to you about audio sync issues you might run into on your live streams and how you can fix them. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Well, if so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. A few things can cause out of sync audio issues. First, we need to see if your equipment power is causing the issue. Let me show you how we can check that out. The first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up into the top left and we're going to click on view and we're going to add a dock and we're going to select stats. And this puts the stats dock in here. Now you can see I'm already live down here, got the green bar. And if I flip over into YouTube, you can see we are live. But YouTube does not give us any actual stats as to how our stream is doing. It says excellent condition. We don't really know anything other than it's live and it says excellent condition. The audio could be horrible, we don't really know. So back over here in OBS, this stats doc is going to tell us how it is. Now I can move this stats doc anywhere. When you open it up, it might appear right here and then you have to drag it over to the edge and drop it in. You'll notice I also have my scenes docked over here. These work just the same way. You can move them around, dock them anywhere you want. I have a lot of scenes, so I put it right there. So over here in the stats window, you can see that it tells us whether it's dropping any frames from lag or from rendering. You can also go down to the bottom and see whether it's actually buffering. If we're not dropping any frames down there, that means your machine is not buffering. But we're mostly concerned with what we're getting up here in the stats. Are we dropping any frames due to render lag or encoding lag? And if the answer to that is no, then it's a safe bet that you are not having a hardware problem. Your sync issues are software but you definitely want to go and switch through each scene to make sure that you're not dropping any frames or getting any render lag. You want to make sure that your transitions happen and all that kind of stuff just to be sure that you are actually not having any machine problem, that that's not the cause of your problem. So if it is your machine's power causing the problem, there are a couple of things that we can do. So we know we have a hardware problem because we're lagging and dropping frames. So if we take a look at this chart, we can see now for trying to live stream at 1080 by 30 frames per second, well, our bits per second or kilobits per second could be anywhere between 3000 and 6000. So depending upon where you have that set, we actually have some room to adjust that. Likewise, if you're at 1080 streaming at 60 frames per second, it's between 4,500 and 9,000. So we have some room to adjust that. So we can just adjust our kilobits per second down a little bit. And yes, this will slightly lower the video quality of our stream. But if we're not taxing our machine and dropping frames and lagging, then our audio will probably be more in sync or have an easier time syncing up because that's really what's causing our problem. So let's jump over into OBS and we're gonna click on settings and we're gonna go to output and right here is our kilobits per second and we're gonna use our little chart here and we're gonna adjust this down to the lower end of where we're at so now that we've adjusted our bitrate lower, what else can we do? And the first thing that controls your laggy stream is the encoder. So you wanna drop this down and make sure that if you have a specialized encoder on a graphics card or something like an Nvidia card, that you have that selected. That is actually a completely separate chip that's just designed to encode live streams and things like that. So if you have one, you definitely wanna select it. If you don't have one, X264 is perfectly fine. Let's walk through X264 for because I think generally speaking people who are going to run into lag are folks that don't have graphics cards. So let me walk you through how encoding works once you set this up. Now right down here you have your CPU usage and higher equals less CPU. So if I have this set to ultra fast I am using much less computer power and it's just producing it as fast as it possibly can. So if you're running into lag issues, start with the lowest setting and go ahead and try it, test it and test it and see if it works. And if it does work, then you can step up to a little faster setting to see if that works. You wanna set it to as high as you can 
without creating any lag. But honestly, I'm not sure you need to go much past medium. If you've got it set to medium and it's not lagging, you're in good shape. Leave it right there because the quality really doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better once you push past medium. The other thing that you can do or you may need to do is if you're really lagging, it does mean that your equipment is not strong enough. You can go into video and downsize to 720. And believe me, I know a lot of people, they want to live stream at the highest rate that they possibly can. And I understand that. But most people, are watching live streams on their cell phone at like 340. So if you have to downsize to 720, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm serious, you're gonna be fine. If you downsize here, make sure you downsize both because encoding two streams or encoding it in one way and then resizing it is more work. And then you can go back into the, your output and adjust your bit rate to that new encoding setting based on the chart and then go ahead and adjust your CPU preset here as well and just test, test, test. Now, I will recommend when you go and you switch the outside canvas resolution of your stream, what you're gonna see happen is you're gonna go into your scenes. So instead of it being like this, it's obviously, since this is 1080, it's going to be huge. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna have it look like this. So what you're gonna wanna do, I know that this isn't a lot of fun, but what you're going to absolutely need to do is you're going to need to put these video assets and all of your assets into some form of editing software and scale them down to 720. Because if you're using 1080 assets in a 720 window with a 720 stream, then it's still re-encoding those. You're trying to take all of that stress off of your computer. And the easiest way to do that is to resize your assets. Now I know you're thinking, Mike, you're talking render lag and encoding lag. What does that have to do with my audio? Well, if you're having problems with render lag and encoding lag, that's what's causing your audio to be out of sync. So you definitely wanna be sure that you make the proper adjustments to solve these problems and then test. Now, if your machine's power is not causing the problem or you just fixed that and now you're still having the issue, then it's probably the fact that your camera and your microphone are both coming in through USB, but they're separate USB ports. USB buses have bandwidth limits, which is the root of this particular problem. But most computers have more than one USB bus. So the first thing to try is to move your camera or your microphone to a separate USB bus. So maybe from the back into the front. So have one in the front and one in the back or however your USBs are set up. If that doesn't fix it, the next step is to manually sync it. All right, so you've got your hardware stuff squared away or or you've got the USB thing and you switched buses and you're still getting some lag or delay. Well, let me show you what you can do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our mixer right here. We're gonna right click on the mixer and we're gonna go to advanced audio properties. Now, right in here, you have a sync offset. You can adjust and chances are the delay is going to adjust a lot faster. In other words, delaying the audio, the way that it comes in is going to go a lot faster. So that's probably the best thing that you're gonna wanna do right there. If your video is ahead of your audio, this is how you would do that. But there is another way as well. And both of these methods work on delay. I mean, it says you can advance it here if you want. I don't know how you can make the audio come out any faster. So uh, I haven't seen that actually work yet. But uh, if you want to listen to it in your headphones so you can hear what OBS is hearing and processing, you want to go ahead and put on monitor and output so that you can put your headphones on and hear it. Now I can already tell you this is like really difficult to do or listen to because you can hear your own voice in your head when you're talking and you're listening to it in your headphones. So you're really gonna need some cans to block out the sound and maybe there's a shot that you can sync it up with your video there, but it's it can be kind of tough. So the other way that you can do this is you can go into your video capture device or whatever device it is that having laggy audio and you can go in and right click, go to filters, and then right here you have the video delay async. So let me remove that. And all you'd have to do is click the plus and go to video delay async, add it in here. You can select it and then you can actually delay your video. So if your video is going big time first, like when you go like this and then you hear the thing two seconds later, you can delay that video so that you can uh, sync up the audio. 
Now, to be honest with you, nine times out of 10, the steps we did first to figure out the hardware issues on your computer are the most likely solutions to you having audio sync problems. The second issue is generally when you're using a separate microphone that's different from the camera and usually changing the buses will fix the problem. This right here, this third solution here, is like a last ditch effort because to be perfectly honest with you, it's very rare that I've actually gotten this process to sync microphones. But I wanted you to know about it just in case. I really do hate audio sync issues. They're the worst to try to fix. My personal strategy to avoid this is to use an audio source from the camera that I'm using. Now, don't do this if your camera audio is bad. Webcam audio is a good example of bad audio. I use an XLR microphone connected directly to my mirrorless camera. This connection goes through a cam link and that way there's no way my camera audio can be out of sync because they're both coming in on the same USB. Another option is an external mixer, which is going to do the same thing. Combine the camera and the mic signal externally and then feed them into the same USB. Would you guys be interested in videos on setting up external mixers and that sort of stuff in the future? You know, so I can show you how you do it? Well, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how to fix laggy video, well, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.